and welcome to the Shy Sheep. So on this week's video, I will be finally doing a collection tour of all my anime figures as well as all my like merch and stuff around the house. Um, so I know a few of you have asked for this video, so I thought I would finally make it since a lot of my scale figures have now come in for the year. So I feel like, um, you know, the the big figures are like complete for the year. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be filming the footage of the actual figures and everything on my phone because I feel like if I film it on my camera it's going to be quite shaky and I also can't get super close to the figures and stuff. So I'm sorry if like the quality or something isn't as good. I don't really know how good my phone footage is. <laughs> I have no idea. So maybe it's really great. But yeah. Uh, and I hope that the footage isn't too shaky, but I'm sorry if it is a little shaky. <laughs> but anyway, I guess I'll see you guys in the in the actual tour. <laughs> Hey everyone, so um, like I said in the intro, I'm filming this on my phone, um, so I'm actually going to start outside, well outside my room, um, with all the anime art. Um, and I'm sorry if like the sound or like um, video quality isn't like as good as usual, <laughs> even though I don't know if it's like super good anyway, um, but yeah it's just because it's on my phone because it's easier and I'm hoping that the footage won't be as shaky, but yeah we'll see. <laughs> So this is the anime art wall, it's obviously very incomplete and the design is kind of lopsided right now because we haven't added more to it, um, but it's supposed to take up this whole wall eventually. Um, but yeah, I have these prints over here from the EMW and then the rest I drew from like official art references and stuff like that all from scenes in the anime. Um, and I've, le I've started drawing more original artwork now that are things that are my own ideas and designs um but i did this when i i was drawing all of this when i was first getting back into art so i was trying to just warm up get back into art see what i can like what i could draw at the time and what i needed to work on um and it's easiest for me to see that when i'm using like references and trying to like copy something like that you know anyway so we have like quite a few um things from food wars demon slayer um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, <laughs> Attack on Titan, and My Hero Academia. Okay, then in the actual room, <laughs> um, above the bed, sorry, that's the door, um, I have these two wall scrolls of the twins. Um, so, Oiko is my favorite from Haikyuu, but I really, really love the twins, and I fell in love with these wall scrolls with the foxes on them, and like the wind blowing, and how they're facing each other. They just look so good. Um, so I put them above our bed, because they're like seriously huge. Like, there's our roof. Um, ceiling, sorry. Um, but yeah, I really love how they came out. I got them off of Bai, and they were all folded up, so they still have like the crinkle lines, but yeah. <laughs> Um, then I have like these boards for uh, like postcards and enamel pins. Um, so over here at the top, I have like um, postcards from independent artists. Um, and I think the Suguru ones and the Gojo one is from Yulis Chan. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it's the little Gojo card. And then the one of the trio is from Cloudy Dango, I think. I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, and then I just have like those official postcards that I, or official art postcards that I got off of Bai. Um, and then I got these little photo cards, which is from an enamel pin maker uh, called Nora's Pins. And that's also where that enamel pin is from. Um, and then I also have some more over there so you can see it's not really filled up anyway here's like a close-up of the enamel pin because i feel like i didn't show it properly um <laughs> and then these little badges are actually from the engraved slave which is the um store where i get all my anime merch from in south africa okay, so here are my cabinets but i just wanted to mention my manga so over there is my haikyuu manga um, and I also have Bokuto and Akashi on top there, um, because they're besties. Um, and then I also have, I collect the, like, a little romance series, those not-so-sweet boys. It's actually really cute, and I really, really love it, like, a lot. So, although it's kind of bothering me that I have 
I don't know how to pronounce it, but Marshall and Muscles? I don't know. Um, in between them, so I need to like rearrange that because that's annoying. And then I have Hinata and Kaguyama on top. And then my Tokyo Avengers manga arrived the other day, which is super exciting. <laughs> Um, with the twins and Kita on top. And then I have all my Jujutsu Kaisen manga over here. <laughs> okay, so this is my first cabinet. Um, it's my school uniform cabinet. Um, the only thing that I want to change about it is that Mikey and Draken print is so hidden and I really like it and it doesn't really fit in. <laughs> so I do plan on moving that to like a Tokyo Revengers one. But yeah, so we have Oikala and Iwaizumi in the back. So I have Ryota Kisei in the back. Um, and to be honest with you guys, I didn't actually manage to finish the anime. But I still love Kisei, so... <laughs> um, and then we have the Kaguya-sama girls, um, Chika and Kaguya. Uh, I haven't seen season 3, but I, re I heard it's really good, so I can't wait to watch it. Um, and they're really, really cute. In the front, I have Yuki and Saber. Um, Yuki is still like one of my favorite figures. I really love him and he's really good quality. Um, and Saber, she was the first figure I ever got. Um, and she's beautiful. Honestly, I haven't stopped loving this figure and every time I look at her, I'm like shocked at how beautiful she is and how much detail she has, even though she's pretty simple. Um, and I really like how I pose them because I feel like they look like the, the really pretty like everyone wants to be with them kids <laughs> in the in like high school um then i have my oikawa acrylic stats um i actually wanted them in my uh high q cabinet but like there's so many nandoras you wouldn't be able to see them so <laughs> um and then these little lego figures my boyfriend got for us well got for me <laughs> um i think last year for our anniversary so basically this one over here is him um, and he really likes woodworking and uh, Star Wars <laughs> and then this one is me because I literally love anything Japanese so I'm wearing like a Japanese kimono I have a katana and I really love art so um, and then those are our three cats as well that's not how they look but <laughs> they represent our three cats okay then this is my high cube cabinet so I start off with like a whole bunch of postcards of my favorites. Um, Oikala isn't here because I didn't actually get him in the set, unfortunately. I don't even know if he comes in the set, to be honest, but that's why he's not here. <laughs> but these are some of my favorites, but I made up with it with an Oikala keychain. Um, and then some of their rubber straps I also have up. And then I have Hinata and Kageyama with Kageyama setting to Hinata, and he's like about to spike the ball, which it's like one of my favorite ways to display them, and I feel like it adds a bit of height. <laughs> um, and then we have Sugawara and Noya, which they look so cute, and I love them so much. Um, and I really like how the full cross no boys that I do have are all together. <laughs> Um, and then in the front, we have the twins, so Osamu like literally loves food more than volleyball, so I have him eating, and then I obviously have Atsumu with his cheeky, cocky facial expression, um, and Kita's next to them to like rein them in, and also with the little care package for Atsumu. Then I have these two captains together, because I don't have Iwa yet, um, but I feel like Kuro and Oikawa go pretty well together, um, and yeah. And then Kenma is next to um, <laughs> is next to Kuro because they're besties. But also, I actually want Kenma next to Hinata because I really love their friendship. <laughs> but Hinata, there's like not any space, and he's like spiking. But yeah, I think it's really cute. <laughs> Um, and then I also have like the little Noya figure I have in the back that I didn't even know I got in one of those sets. But yeah, I wish it was more visible. But that's my high cue shelf. <laughs> okay, then this is my Demon Slayer shelf. Sorry, I have the doors open to prevent reflection. Um, again, that artwork is actually just a reference from Pinterest. Those aren't my original ideas. Um, again, it was to see if what, what I could and couldn't draw and like will make myself up again. Mitsuri is actually one of the favorite things I've drawn. So um, yeah, Gojo is going to get moved out when I have like a solid Jujutsu Kaisen shelf. We have Kanal in the background here. I really love her and she's like my second favorite figure I would say. 
I mean, she is tied in second place with some characters, but yeah. <laughs> and then we have Shinobu and Rengoku in the front. So this shelf is actually going to change because I want Rengoku next to Tengen um, because I feel like their colors match each other better and they also both have huge bases. So that's the plan and I hope that I can get a third figure in with them. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I hope that Nezuko will look good with Kanao and Shinobu because I feel like her pinkish colors will look really good and she's also like lying slash sitting down so it won't hide Kanao too much then as well. Um, but I really like how this looks and I love how Kanao and Shinobu look together. They just complement each other so well. <laughs> Shinobu is still my favorite figure. I mean, she's in, she's in first place with Gojo but... <laughs> Like, she's so beautiful, I still can't get over her, and I'm so happy that I own her. And Rengoku is one of my top figures as well. I'm not sure if any of you would be interested, um, but let me know if you want me to rate my collection, since I have, like, most of my scale figures for this year in, so... Yeah. <laughs> but I really, really love this cabinet, or, yeah, cabinet and how it's coming out. And here is my work in progress Jujutsu Kaisen shelf. Um... So I really like the uh, clear files in the background, although <laughs> they're kind of like not level right now because Yuji keeps falling off and I just like sort of put him back half-heartedly. Um, but yeah, I plan for Gojo and Sukuna to be on like a uh, riser and then either to have like another figure or like the first years and this Gojo in the front, like the Nendoroids um, in the front. Um, I feel like that would look really nice. I love Gojo and Sukuna together. They look so good. And Gojo, like I said, is one of my favorite figures. And I brought this Gojo here so that Nendoroid Gojo is with Scale Gojo. <laughs> um, and the same goes with Nendoroid Yuji with Scale Sukuna. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I haven't actually pre-ordered that E-Stream Sukuna yet. Because he comes out in a month when I have another figure pre-ordered and I just don't know if I could afford it. So I'm going to try and pick him up pick him up um, in hand off of the eStream store. So I still plan on getting him, but yeah. <laughs> then this is my My Hero Academia shelf. Again, the artwork like does not match at all. <laughs> um, that Toji is actually going to move to a Jujutsu Kaisen shelf. And Levi in the back will move to my eventual Attack on Titan shelf. Um, but yeah, I actually really love how this shelf looks like if I take a step back. Um, I feel like it looks really cool because Deku and Bakugo both have like, they're more upright than Todoroki who's like bent forward. <laughs> and I feel like they complement each other really, really well. Um, and these figures are just so beautiful. Like I said, I was like blown away every single time I opened them. Like the level of detail you got was just incredible. So, um, yeah, I'm super happy with this shelf. It's one of my favorites, if I'm being honest. Um, and I would like Todoroki to come, like, more forward, but I can't because his hand is, like, so close to the perspex of this door that if he comes any further forward, the door doesn't close because his hand is in the way. Um, but yeah, I really can't pick my favorite between these three because they are all so beautiful. Um, and I love all three characters, so it's not like even one could win, like, over who's my favorite. Um, yeah, they just look so beautiful. I love it so much. The shelf is kind of, like, blah at the moment. Like, it looks kind of boring, and, like, obviously these androids are tiny in this cabinet. <sighs> but, um, it's kind of just, like, how it is right now, because I'm waiting on my Jujutsu Kaisen scales. Um... And, you know, there's nothing really else to go in this cabinet, so it's kind of just a filler cabinet. And the other Jujutsu Kaisen shelf look way too full and messy with all of these in there. So, um, but I do think it looks really cute. Like, I love how the Nand I have the Nandoroids positioned. But like I said, Nobara um, and Megumi will be going in the other cabinet with Yuji and Gojo when I have some scales to fill this one up because I want the first years together. And then the second years will be staying together and I'm just waiting on Panda, of course, but um, I really like how they look together and I like how they're positioned, both Yuta in the middle of Inumaki and Maki. 
Um, so I was thinking maybe of having the, I hope the Eastream Suru scale comes out well because I'm actually really short on money at the moment. So I had to cancel my Suguru Kotobukiya figure because I just can't afford him. So <laughs> I'm really sad about that. Um, so I hope I can get him like maybe in October or something when I have more money. But we'll see. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm planning on having a Suguru scale and then my Yuta Eastream scale in here because I feel like that would really suit the second year vibe that's going on over here. <laughs> But yeah, that's the plan, and then obviously some like pretty artwork in the back. <laughs> the, these um, second years are some of my favorite Nendoroids. I feel like they are such good quality and so well done. Like, I, I just love them so much. And yeah, I'm very, very happy to have them. Okay, these last two shelves are also like blur shelves because I need to rearrange. Firstly, this cabinet over here. Oh yeah, I have that Shonen Jump up there. Um, this cabinet is supposed to be a bunny cabinet because it's bigger or taller than the rest. It was specifically made for Elizabeth, but I have since not gotten any more bunnies. Um, but I actually need to move Erina and Sabre to probably this cabinet over here because I feel like it looks really <laughs> ugly with like Elizabeth in front covering the two pretty figures in the back, especially Erina. So yeah, I just haven't gotten around to it because I'm lazy also totally need to dust that just ignore it <laughs> um and obviously the Jujutsu Kaisen clear files like don't fit I just had put them in there initially to keep them safe but now there's figures in there so um yeah I need to like change that obviously because <laughs> that does not fit at all so maybe that'll move to the other Jujutsu Kaisen cabinet um and I haven't been collecting that many bunnies because I really love Elizabeth, but honestly, I find that I love my other figures way more. And like, when I think of the price of Elizabeth, like I, I was just quite disappointed with a few things. Um, but I do plan on hopefully getting that Komi um, bunny that was just announced because she's like a really special character to me. Um, and I really relate to her a lot. <laughs> so... I, I really want to get that bunny if I can and I feel like she would look nice <laughs> in this cabinet then and then um, Yeah, so So stay Alter and Erina are gonna be moving. This is not how this cabinet is supposed to look but Anyway, here's Sabre Alter. Honestly, I still love this figure, but I don't feel as much attachment to her anymore So she's actually quite low on my list of like favorite figures Like I think she's beautiful and a work of art, but I just like <laughs> I don't have much connection with her anymore, so this figure isn't like super super special to me or anything like the others. Um, so I don't really get like much feeling when I look at her, even though she's really beautiful. But yeah, I still want to keep her, but yeah. <laughs> and we have beautiful Erina. Um, she's like the only Food Wars figure that I own because I couldn't afford the Alice Bunny anymore. Um, and I've taken all the Food Wars bunnies off my wish list because I just feel like <laughs> it's impossible to get them at that price for me so I just don't think I'll ever get them so there's just like no point of having them on my wish list if I'm never gonna get them because they're just so expensive so Erin is like really special <laughs> because she's like the only Food Wars merch I own and I love her so much and I love her character and this figure is honestly so gorgeous of her I still find myself looking at her and yeah, I have always just feel bad that she's in this cabinet because it's the only place that she really like fits in with like Saber. Like I feel like Saber Alter really compliments her and makes her look prettier. So I just feel like <laughs> bad that she's being shadowed by Elizabeth right now, but yeah. But this last shelf is also a filler shelf at the moment, so it looks like seriously just ugh. <laughs> but yeah, so I do have a Levi figure coming at the end of the year, so then it'll be more Attack on Titan me with Eren. Um, and I need to get that Mikasa figure. Um, and I wish Kotobukiya would make an almond scale, but <laughs> like to match them. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted Eren in here because all the other shelves were pretty full, so I feel like you couldn't see him nicely. Um, and I really, really love this Eren figure, so I didn't want him to be hidden. <laughs> Um, and then Mikey, I mean, he's my favorite Tokyo Revengers character. Um, and we all know the Nandoroid saga from my, <laughs> from 
from my video like two like a couple weeks ago but um i still love the nandoroid itself like i hate the quality don't get me wrong but i'm still really happy to have a mikey piece of merch but by the way oh my god all the tokyo revengers announcements this week I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a video of all the announcements and prototypes I'm excited for again because oh my god so many <laughs> um but yeah Mikey didn't really fit in on all the other shelves and I feel like he took away from the shelves because all the other shelves are pretty themed now and I feel like Mikey definitely didn't fit in those themes but because I plan on having a Tokyo Avengers shelf and I am gonna be getting a lot more Tokyo Avengers and Androids in and stuff um he'll he'll have a proper home soon so this is just like a filler home for them where they can be company for each other that sounds weird but yeah i didn't want them to be alone and i feel like they look kind of cute right now and yeah at least you can see both of them really nicely which is what i like just keep my demon slayer manga box set and the stories of water and flame over here uh because it's kind of difficult to see where I could keep it because I don't have a bookshelf yet or anything. I just wanted to mention because um, I get comments like every now and again asking about my cabinets. Um, so you can't actually buy these cabinets anyway, at least not like these exact ones. I'm not sure if you could get like other ones somewhere else um, because my boyfriend has bought these for me. Um, he based like the interior measurements off of the shelf of a Detolf. Um, but like the exterior measurements are larger than that of a detail. Okay, well that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my entire collection as well as me sort of discussing what I have planned for it and seeing like all the other kinds of merch I have and how and where I display them. Um, but yeah, I really love my collection and it's really special to me. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you being here and I really do hope that you did enjoy the video. Um, but yeah, I hope to see you guys here next week, but it's okay if you do not want to. But I hope you all have a lovely week ahead and I'll see you next week.